Test one, two, test one, two. All right, we're live. Everything's working. Hi, guys. Welcome to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality. Now, if you're new to the channel, very nice to meet you, of course. And as always, as always, a huge welcome back to all our regular viewers and awesome subscribers, because it's really thanks to you that I want to continue uploading videos to this channel. And as always, already remember, sorry, I got it wrong, but this is an uncut video. As always, do remember to hit the like and subscribe button and also enable the bell notification next to the subscribe button so that YouTube tells you in your video feed when we upload cool videos and you never get to miss those videos in the future. Now, today we are talking about the lens prescription adapters. Here we go. I have it here for both the Facebook series and also the HP Reverb G2 uh, series because the last time I did the videos to the channel I had only worn them for you know a couple weeks so I thought it'd be good to circle back after now having using you know been using them for wow five or six months or so I don't know how many months but you know at least I can give you some proper inside tips and tricks and whether it's really worth getting spoiler alert yes it is worth getting but you know there are some things that perhaps you should be you should get to know of before you purchase them so you can make a better uh, you know, a wiser decision. Okay, so let's transition over to the other panel. Now, first of all, uh, you can get a discount when making a, a purchase for any of the actual uh, prescription lenses on the website. You get 5% discount when you use the promo code VR Essentials. Okay, just to let you know, I'll put details in the description below. Now, those adapters at the vr-wave.store website um, are available for a whole wide range of different VR headsets, the Oculus Facebook series for the Quest, the HP Reverb G2, also the PSVR, the Valve Index guys, the HTC series, and also now I'm very excited about this, the DJI FPV series, just in case uh, you don't have a VR headset, but you do have a DJI FPV series, and you're just curious about VR, and you want to you know, uh, have a better immersion in the FPV series, then you can order this. I thought this was really, really cool. And also, by the way, this is your first tip. Uh, now, when I made my order, I was a bit, you know, intimidated by all this. So what I did was I took a snap. I went to the optician and I said, hey, can you help me to, you know, just let me know what, what should I put in all these different things? What's right AXS and all this kind of stuff? And IPD, how can you help me? And then they basically helped me. They, they did it with me, told me what to put, and then I passed the order. So this is my first tip, you know, go to the optician, let them help you, uh, you know, get the answers as to what you should put in there, okay? Now, the second thing is if we go to the Quest, now, these are videos from the actual channel that we had posted before when we did the actual edited series videos. This is, of course, a non-edited uh, series. Is that there is actually a magnet with these ones here. Okay, so what's really cool about the magnet, by the way, is that if you... Uh, let me just skip to the series. There we go. If you have multiple people in your household, and, you know, let's be honest, with the Facebook Quest series, most people will have more than one headset, I think. So it's good because if you have multiple people with glasses, then you can leave the magnet part on the headset. You don't have to remove that part and then just put the other mount, boom, onto it um, without having to remove the actual mount itself. So I think that's what's really useful. Let me just show you what it basically looks like when you do that. So it's here. Here we go. So here you have the mounted part and then boom, you just put the other part with the lens on top of the part that has the magnetic part on it. So that's really nice and easy, um, you know, very useful. And they are working on a version like this for your HP series as well, just to let you know, okay? So now let's talk about the actual HP Reverb G2 uh, series and giving you some tips and tricks for that part. Okay, so let me just transition over to the other video. And then there we go. Let's transition screen. Boom, we're here. Now, first of all, just know that the difference is with the HP Reverb G2 is that there is no magnetic series at the moment, but don't worry, it's not a big deal because it doesn't really need it for two reasons. First of all, it's really easy to put on. And secondly, most people I think who have a PC VR, generally speaking, generally speaking, okay, I'm not going to make a, a generalization, but but you know, I think that most of us don't really pass our headset to I could be wrong. I, I think the majority of us only have one PC VR 
headset not multiple I mean, let me know in the comments below if you guys have more than one pc and if you're not okay if you're not a company okay if you're a person uh in a household for personal use let me know if you have more than one pc vr uh in the comments below it'd be really uh cool to find that out but basically uh the good thing about this thing is that um they will be you know, it's very clear the lens really the durability of this thing is uh okay this was when i was let me go back to the headset here we go let me go back here now to put them on is really really easy okay let me just transition over to here first of all tip number one when you put them in the headset it'll be like this when you put them in the headset don't wiggle around wiggle around and try to force it in it won't work because when you put it on naturally there is a little space between the mold and the actual uh, lenses inside the headset so if you put them on it's just going to come off it's not going to rest on it so no need to do this uh, like a crazy person all you have to do is boom put it on boom that's it put it on boom rotate up or down that's all you got to do that's all you got to do no need to wiggle it all over the place just put it on boom you're done now tip number two when it comes to this thing I found personally that when I rotate it, it doesn't matter if you rotate up once or down once, it will fit in, it will stay there, okay? But when I rotate it, up, uh, sorry, downwards, I, th I feel like I have a sharper image. Now it could be due to the actual lens on the glass and the way it's cut and all these kind of things, or the way the lens is positioned on the actual mount. It's very possible. But I found that when I rotate it downwards, I get a sharper image. So that's pretty cool to know, all right? So try it with you. See whether you get sharper image with one down here and one the other. And also before you put them in, you know, uh, it might be that when, it's, so this is tip number two. It might be that when it's been shipped to you, the lens actually came out. So you won't know if it's on the right or the left or you, there is, it does say here on the lens, it will say whether it's right or left, okay? But if you're not sure or you don't see it, just put, just do a test like this and see which one will be clearer for you. And then you'll know, oh, okay, this is the left and it says left. It's also possible that the lens, as I mentioned, came off the actual mold. If it does, don't worry. I'm going to sh just show you in a couple of minutes. Uh, uh, we're going to talk about that in a couple of minutes. But if it comes off, you know, and, you, and they get the foot on the floor and they both came off or something and you don't know which is which, just do this, just do a test, cover with one hand, your one eye, and then put it on your other eye to know which one is which okay so that would be my tip to you now let's say that the lens does come off don't panic it's absolutely fine generally speaking it won't come off generally it won't unless you wiggle your headset like a crazy person <laughs> it won't come off but it can come off if you're handling this and then suddenly you put your finger in here and it comes off don't worry don't panic okay all you have to do first of all use a cloth or put some plastic gloves on or cotton gloves or latex gloves or if you don't have gloves um, use a cloth don't use a sock because the sock doesn't really get rid of the um, well you could use a sock but if you want to get rid of the fingerprints make sure that you use a normal cloth like a uh, cloth you would for normal lenses don't use it don't do this with your t-shirt or with a sock or something like that because it's not going to remove this thing properly okay just to let you know so then what will you do is there will be a cut here to let you know basically the shape so all you have to do is get the shape back and then once you got the shape just put it back on it'll be very easy to put on don't worry so much and okay it's this shape is this shape it can be tough at the beginning to know you know which which shape to put where and all this kind of stuff but don't worry so much it will be pretty easy to put back on so let me just put it back on very quickly bam 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 this is a non-edited video of course so here we go so the other thing is um when you put it on you're going to want to put on the, the side that's not there's there's like a bulge to it the bulge put inside not facing outside just let you know okay so bulge inwards not outwards bulge inwards not outwards okay so basically if you want to clean them now when they're on you can clean it like this no problem no issue at all but if you want to clean the inside it's better that you remove the lens do both and then put it in it can be a little difficult or 
just make sure that with one cloth, one side of the cloth, you hold it. You hold it like this. And then with the other side, then you go inside because otherwise, you know, it's going to basically come off, right? So that would be my, my, those tips when it comes to cleaning and putting these things on. And also when you put it on the gasket, boom, rotate it. That's it, you're done. Don't wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Push, push, push. Don't do that. All right. Now, for one of the most important tips that I can give you, honestly speaking, if you have... Oh, don't tell me I did the same fucking mistake. Oh, no, I didn't make the same mistake. Sorry. Oh, my God, we're live. I know, it's just like a live video, right? I can't redo these videos. So, I first... Okay, never mind. Let's just imagine you didn't see this part. All right. Some of the most important... <laughs> on this video, guys. Bloopers right in there. So, um... <laughs> So, um, for the gasket, if you have a big nose, maybe you're French, maybe you're Italian, maybe you're from the southern part of Mediterranean or you're American, I don't know. You know, maybe you just have a big nose, all right? You're from anywhere in the world and you have a big nose. Uh, generally speaking, uh, those who don't have big nose, maybe ladies, generally speaking, don't have big noses. Uh, teenagers, generally, their nose is still, you know, getting formed, right? Or Asians or certain parts of the world don't have big noses, right? But if you do have a big nose, then do know this use the original gasket by the HP Reverb G2 why simple with the HP Reverb G2 unfortunately our IPD adjuster is a slider and not click 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 right it's a slider it's not click 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 so this means that when you're using basically the uh, this thing right well with the uh, original HP, it's a harder surface. So when you're going to put your gasket on, now you don't lose any FOV. You don't lose any FOV. But when you put your, your gasket on, if you have a large nose and you're using another gasket and your IPD is at closer towards the nose, you put it on, your nose is going to hit this thing and this thing is automatically going to adjust the IPD back backwards for you now if it's during the game you're not going to notice it and honestly speaking i don't know why but when i don't notice the ipd is being boom pumped away from where it's supposed to be i don't actually really notice it in the game like it's still pretty clear to me but if it happens when i do notice it i suddenly my my, my eyes no it looks more blurry okay so if you are going to notice it and it's not during gameplay and you're trying to set everything up and put everything on and then boom it goes like that you might notice it and it might get in your nerve on your nerves right so use the original gasket do not use i highly don't recommend using the vr cover one now vr cover do a great job on the gaskets don't get me wrong they have an amazing amazing product and we will do a separate video about this so as i mentioned hit the like and subscribe and also notification bell to, so I can give you my real feedback about this stuff, right? But it's only because it's so nice and soft. It's like a cushion on your face, right? But it's so nice and soft. There's so much air in it. I'm trying to get the light. There's so much air in it that basically you will get more FOV with this when you put it on your face, for sure. But if you have bigger nose, what's going to happen is it's going to hit this thing, the, the, the pointy side of this thing. And this thing is going to go like that and then the IPD adjuster whoosh, it's gonna slide back so do realize this that if you're gonna be using VR cover and you have a big nose sorry guys you're gonna have to revert back to this one what you could do however if you want to use a, um, a gasket excuse me and you you don't want to you know clean it all the time you could get this from VR cover excuse me you could get this one by VR cover and then basically, you know, and if you go and buy VR cover stuff, please do use uh, the link below in the description so you support the channel. Just let you know we get a, a little kickback from, from VR cover. But let's be honest, VR cover do a great job, so I don't have to sell them, all right? So you could get the VR cover one and then have this. And this will actually give you an additional protection. Uh, and also it won't be as soft, of course, because this is a bit harder. So you'll have an even better, you'll be even a bit further away uh, by maybe, I don't know, one millimeter, two millimeters at the most from the lenses. So if you have a huge nose, then of course it will help you to not have this issue of hitting the actual adapter, okay? But other than that, honestly speaking, honest, honestly speaking, 
I don't want to buy other ones. I'm fine with this. This is good. I'm happy with this. I would not recommend this to you if I was not happy. It's as simple as that. There are so many people on the channel who have purchased this. Believe me, you can go to the other videos. There are no uh, comments that say anything bad about this other than a couple comments that say, well, I have a big nose and you know what? It went like this. I never took off the, the, the comments today. You can go and see them. Honestly, everyone's happy. And you can also go on Reddit and whatever other platforms, Twitter or whatever. Do a search, do a review search. You know, you'll see that most people, I think 98%, 99.9% of people are actually very, very happy with these things. So honestly speaking, I can't complain about this thing going like that because using glasses with the HP Reverb G2 is forget about it it's just forget about it if I had it's like forget about it just don't use glasses with the HP Reverb G2 it's that simple so guys uh, what other uh, tips can I give you well honestly that's it you know when you clean them use this if they fall off don't worry about it make sure the bulge it's bulge side is inside when you put them on, don't wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Just twist. You're done. Uh, I think that's it, really. And just, you know, you don't need to remove it to clean the outside, of course. But if you want to clean the inside, make sure you hold it on one side with one finger and then the other do that. That's it. That's all, that's all, that's all the tips. So I think these are pretty cool tips. So guys, remember to like and subscribe, as I mentioned before, and hit that bell notification after you subscribe so YouTube tells you in your video feed when we upload the cool video. Now I think what would be really cool to do is give some shout outs back to you because it is thanks to you that this channel is growing. You are the real heroes of this channel, honestly speaking. So let's go to one of the previous videos uh, that we did uh, on the channel. And also, uh, let's just very quickly, uh, okay, let me just transition over to the screen because, of course, otherwise you won't uh, actually see the screen. So let me just go to OBS. Here we go. Transition over. And let's go to the YouTube channel. Boom, 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 boom. YouTube Studio. That's where I get all my statistics. And then, bam. Let's go to see all recent subscribers by date. Here we go. So I just want to welcome, welcome to you guys, to this community who are almost at 8,000 subscribers. Please share this video, guys. Please share it so that, you know, more people get to know about us and the community grows and we can all help one another. So, Oluwasuan Akin Akin Moluson. Uh, nice to meet you. I'm not sure where you're from. Very interesting name. Welcome to the channel. Christopher Talbot, CrossFit Valve, Mark Adams, Mr. Musk 911, Elena Raffo, Matt Cahill, Tommy Vernon, Sergio C, Zazueta Ta, and also Mark VH. Very welcome to you. Thank you very much for coming to the channel. And, you know, welcome to everyone else who's come to the channel. Now, let's just go and check out some of the comments that you guys have been uh, putting on the channel. So, basically, me said, um, they're f Okay, let, let's uh, for the super hot video that we posted very recently, uh, which is quite controversial. This one you might want to go and watch it, uh, and I think it's a pretty cool video. It really deserves more more views simply because the topic is very interesting. Um, they are full playthrough videos on YouTube, and there's three scenes: two two where you shoot yourself, and one where you jump off a building. Um, thank you very much, basically me for your for your comment. Let me heart you. Um, and thanks for for that, uh, individu Ayamba. Thank you very much for your comment as well. The greatest. I'm not quite sure what kind of name that is, uh, but thanks for your comment. Uh, Lucky shot five one three five five one three five. It's enough. A black. This is the whole studio and its developers. I won't be any game by any game that has any of them involved. Doesn't matter if they leave the studio. Still going to avoid any content. Wow. I mean that's that's a pretty huge revelation, dude. Wow. I mean, you know. Respect your respect your opinion, man, and uh, thanks very much for sharing. Uh, do let us know in the comments below after you watch this video if you if you feel strongly like this or whether you have a different opinion. Uh, Guma nine one eight five one nine eight four. Sorry, first of all, I didn't know you're based in Singapore. Yes, we're based in Singapore, uh, one of my favorite cities I have visited so far. Well, cool, it is an awesome city, and I 
you know recommend you guys to come here when uh, when you can after the COVID and stuff i have visited so far i remember i asked you in one of the videos why you don't have a wheel and for a moment i thought it would be a public shaming video well no it was not guys so do go and check out that video this is the why i don't use a wheel for my vr sims uh, xbox video you made amazing videos about acc and ms ams2 thank you very much dude now that's very cool uh both of them aspire to be simulators and due to this there is a lot of focus on driving experience and keeping it as close as possible to the real experience. Because of that, uh, playing on the controller would not be impossible, but would be way harder than in arcade games. Now, I completely agree with you. Of course, using the controller is not the best. Using a wheel is the best way to do it. Uh, but do go and check out the video. And uh, thank you very much, Guma, for your comment. One last comment. Let me, Dwight said, I developed for OpenXR, but Steam makes it still trouble, still troubles with it. Uh, even in the Steam VR beta that should normally support OpenXR, a Linux game tester of me said that at still not, it still not works in VR on Linux with Proton. Okay, so he's basically saying that there are issues with using OpenXR in Steam VR. Uh, thank you very much for sharing that. Uh, insight let me do it on the steam vr update video uh, do go and check out that video guys and let me know whether you agree with let me do it or not thanks to eduardo cigar thanks to mineta thanks to suicide boys aj thakur captain yosarian and everyone else for leaving all your comments to the channel i really really appreciate it guys thanks for watching today's video you guys are really really awesome <laughs> give you a big round of applause until next time guys subscribe to the channel like this video and i'll see you the next video. Ciao. Bye.